Yo, how are we doing guys? Welcome to an Outbreak New Dawn video. Outbreak New Dawn is a new shoot 'em and loot 'em survival zombie game. It's free to play. It's in uh, currently in alpha. It was supposed to be a paid game, but they are currently making it free to play so they can get more players onto it to help test the game and all that good stuff. It's a really good game. I've been checking it out. It's been getting a lot of good updates lately. There'll be a link in the description below if you want to go and check out the game. There'll also be links, uh, timestamps in the description below so you can skip to a certain part of the video. We're going to jump into the video now. We're going to show you some gameplay, show you some of the features and some of the stuff that's coming to the game in the future. So anyway, let's get on with the video. Alright, like I said, there'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. I'm going to be starting off with the features to the game, like going through them one by one. So make sure you have a look down and see what there is, and let's get on with the first one. Alright, so starting off, you've got weapon customization. It's not the greatest, but it's not bad. Like, obviously, there is games that have a lot better customization this, than this, but it is decent for what it is, considering the game's only just come out. It's in alpha. It's not been in that uh, development that long. So, honestly, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, you've got um, skins for your weapons. You've got grips. You've got barrels. You've got your laser sights. You've got different sized mags. You've got your scopes and your, your different am ammo types, HP rounds, armor piercing rounds, all that good stuff. And I think, eventually, you're going to be able to change the stock and the barrel as well. So, like I said, it's not the greatest, but it is decent. Obviously, scopes could do with uh, being sorted out. Like, the ACOG scope, is, ACOG scope is just way too big, in my opinion. But, yeah, on to the next one. All right, so, one of the other features the game's got, it's got weapon proficiency. So, the as you can see, this is a list of every gun that's in the game. The longer you use a gun, the more you use it. Um, obviously, you're going to get points. So, I'm using right here 430 out of 10,000. So then 430 will get me 0.4, minus 0.4% recoil. So it's not super overpowered, but if you do use it, if you do get up to 10,000, you can probably get a decent chunk, like minus 5, I think it's minus 5%, and then, you know, plus a bit of damage and stuff like that. Weapon proficiency is always a nice thing to have in games like this. It just makes you feel like you're getting a bit of progression as you're playing. All right, so here's the new one. This is just coming to the game two days ago. They've just added skills into it. So as you're doing missions for your traders, you're exploring, killing zombies, all that good stuff. You're going to be leveling up. As you're leveling up, obviously, you get your skill points. So you can get extra strength, extra stamina, not need to eat as much. There's farming skills, lockpick skills, loads of decent skills, healing skills, and all that good stuff. This just come into the game, and they're doing big updates like this every couple of weeks which is a bonus so yeah that's the latest one that just comes to the game a couple of days ago all right so here's another one of the new updates that just come to the game not long ago this was actually the first time i used this because these flares are really rare so if you do play the game and you ever get them save them so what it does is it calls in a drone like this and you can get airdrop flares and there's airdrops that come around the map and stuff like that but um this one literally just pulls it spawns in a drone it takes like probably a minute to get there it doesn't go right to you you do have to run a little bit to it it is set in designated areas and when it, wherever you set the flare off it'll just go to the closest one so you only get limited amount of spaces this is why i said if you ever play the game and you try it make sure you save this for something you know like a really special occasion like you've just found some proper super loot that you don't want to lose like a really rare really good one So yeah, drone comes down, you have like three minutes to fill it up, you only get six spaces like I said, chuck all your good stuff in, and then when it's done, you just click on the drone icon and it will fly away with your stuff and then it will get sent to your mailbox. So I was carrying this flare on me all the time in my safety box, because you can have a safety box on you where you keep a couple of items if you die, but you can't put stuff like guns in there because they're too big, you can't put containers in there because... Like, say if you get a uh, medical container or something, you can't put that in because they're too big. But yeah, so, that's uh, another one that features the game. I really like this. I wish the flares were a little bit easier to find because it's not great. You only get six spaces. So, yeah, it'd be really nice if they are a little bit easier to find. All right, so I think the last feature I want to be showing is, like, the daily missions and stuff like that. Like, there is actual proper missions that you get from traders and stuff as well, but daily missions are really good. But you get some good XP from it, you can get some good items from it, you can get your flares from your weekly missions. This is me looking into the daily mission box. So you can get flares from this, some tokens that you can trade in for skin boxes, like for outfits and stuff like that. I got kind of unlucky on that one, but yeah, it's a good little thing to have to the game because obviously it gives you something to do each day. 
Like, you're still gonna have loads to do anyway, because you've got all your achievements, you're gonna level up, you know, you've got um, your missions for your traders, fighting other players, all that good stuff. But I just wanted to chuck that in, because I, I really like daily missions. Alright guys, so there's actually loads more to this game, but I don't want to keep going on about the features. I want to show you a little bit of gameplay. So I'm going to show you some PvP, but there's loads more features in the game. You know, you've got the airdrops, the key system, leveling up the traders, or the actual missions. There's loads more to the game. I hope you all check it out. There'll be a link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see future content on Outbreak New Dawn, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Enjoy this PvP clip, and peace out.